The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I swear, we aren't giving Levi Shmuel Dardek, because that's how Talmud and Mary Yeshiva. I think Titkin Rav, Rav Ram was beside the Kedushin. Koponim. So he was very close to the stipler. His father was close to the stipler. My shvog, if my shvog was nifter, became very close to Rebchayim. Kupanim. So my daughter, can I know, after five girls, had a boy. Named him Yaakov Levi Shmuel. Very cute kid. Shtayt zach ankle, but he like, uh, he wasn't so mobile. So he was taking therapy and more therapy. And then he regressed. And, uh, he couldn't even turn over. So I came to Eretz Yisrael. I said, Shalom Shrina, taking him to a prime. Shvelka set me up. You get easy pass with all the scowls that you get this way out. And I'm inside. And my daughter has the baby. Yaakov Levi Shmuel named after my shvah. So they tell me, Kerr Prime wants to meet with you and come inside. So I call my daughter on the phone. I said, okay, Shalom Shrina, you have to send him to the baby. I said, but I can't. It's like a hundred men on the staircase. You ever been there? And like, they weren't budging, and no one was moving. So because I said, her time's waiting. So she turns to these hundred men. She's my daughter, you know, down the staircase, and she says, "Look, my father needs my baby. Her time is waiting for the baby. Pierce up my baby, once, twice." Three times. She says, okay. Either you pass up the baby or I'm coming up the stairs with my baby. She's like five foot one. The kid said he passed up the baby. I put him on my on my knee. I got a shtickle emotional. I remember the words I said. I said, Hey Lagareb. Dosis are you did or anical. Say no man is Yaakov Levi Shmuel. And he can't walk, he can't move. Twinkle in his eye. It's a long time I couple. Look, and this is who told me, like, you know, to watch. I mean, you know, we, we're into this completely. So Bikitsa, he tells me in front of a lot of people, this nine-month-old kid has to start wearing a couple. So I pulled out my size eight yarmulke, and I put it on the kid's head. And I went downstairs with my daughter. And I told the Shlom Srina, Rebchaim wants him to start wearing a kabbal. Cover his head as a nine-month-old kid. So she said, yes. We have pictures. Downstairs by Rebchaim with this big yarmulke on the kid's head. The kid went home. And within 24 hours, he started to crawl. I was telling him, I said, it happened. My wife was not very happy because she had many pictures that she intended to take at the anical. So she made special yarmulkes that he could wear. But he falls asleep. He's five years old, and his couple falls off. He starts crying. Now, I'd love to tell the end of the story, he's Rebke Vega, but Lemaisa, that's what happened with us. I can just tell you, Lemaisa, what happened with us. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to Inspire.org.